I think that we may be in the midst of the next big thing in sports. Today, my council of content, uh, which just consists of one guy, his name is Robert, has put together a presentation on what can only be described as medieval knight fighting. I've seen one video of it already, and it appears to be the most insane sport I've ever seen. If you've ever been to medieval times, it's like that, but the people who are fighting uh, actually want to hurt the other person. It's not a staged, choreographed fight. Medieval times would be much crazier if that's actually what was going on. I would 100% pay to go to that. I mean, this is what it is. It's basically like boxing or MMA, but they're wearing armor and they have swords. And I'm going to be watching some of the videos from this event. Okay, this one it's called Night Fights Knockout, M1 Medieval. So I think that is like the league of this sport. It's called M1 Medieval. What do you think we're going to see in this fight? I have no idea, Darren. This is probably the wildest thing I've ever seen. Even the announcer's like, what do you think we're going to see today? And the other one's like, I have no idea, dude. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. They just found out this was a sport. He's like, I have no clue, man. I thought I was going to a boxing event. I am very confused right now. They're not going to hurt me, are they? And that'll probably be one of the last times you actually see the faces as well. Yeah. Okay, that kind of makes it sound like they're going to die. This is the last time you're ever going to see either of their faces. It is customary, of course, to after the battle, feed them both to the dragon so yeah say goodbye to these two poor unfortunate souls this will not be the last time you see this guy's face though he seems very pleased with what's going on here is this the king who ordered this fight to happen okay so we got some stats here age height weight and record so this does confirm my theory that maybe this is kind of a new thing that is just getting off the ground it seems like they've each only competed in one or two <laughs> fights before they've both won a fight uh this guy has maybe tied a fight also where is this taking place this is beautiful you're just in like the russian mountains or something i guess that's where this type of event should take place gosh this is beautiful if i was at this event i can't tell which way i'd be looking there's knights in front of me but also like heaven in the background my eyes are being drawn in all directions here i'm also very interested in this that's going on here what is he doing with both hands that he can't be holding the microphone himself he has to be actively protecting himself from these two these fuckers will try to hurt me if i take my eyes off them for one second they're bloodthirsty they're crazy the guy who needs to to be an arm as the referee because if one of those swords comes anywhere near him he doesn't look very very well protected that's a good point no this does seem very dangerous for the ref especially if like the sword hits part of the shield and and shrapnel comes flying off he is not well protected it does kind of seem like the announcers are just realizing this like again this is the first time this event has ever happened he doesn't look very very well protected hey shouldn't that guy be an armor oh no what are we doing this is dangerous all right let's let's skip to the fight can we just see the fight here actually before we start the fight i assume there is going to be some violence i don't think there's any blood i'll put right here if there's any like actual gore i think they're like in their armor the whole time and there's not actually any like bodily damage that you see and for the youtube algorithm watching this uh for all we know these could be robots so this might not even be real human combat. These could be robots. In fact, I think they are. In my personal opinion, I think these are robots. We saw other guys put on the mask and then it cut and now these are robots. So take with that what you will. Also, are they wearing dress shoes? Those dress shoes? Fancy robots. Charges for... You got to think of the power yeah, of the shield as well with the left hand. With the knee, a clinch with the knee. Okay, so the, the fighting is very interesting, first of all. This guy is kicking... <laughs> other guy you know you have a sword right very interested in the audience we've got a variety of characters we have like andrew tate a cowboy like a 1920s newspaper boy people have traveled from all moments of time and space to be at this event including the two participating they actually are from the 1400s oh great great kick he follows it up with a right. I feel like these fights have a potential to go on for a really long time because they're both wearing armor. What if they actually just, like, neither of them can win because they're like, oh, you're in armor. I can't hurt you. Shields again when they come together and they clinch. Okay, something's ground. happening now. So because they, they both fell, because they still have a... Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh. I think this might be the end of it here. I have a TKO. 
The referee's asking questions. Holy cow, dude. Okay, so he's okay for the record YouTube algorithm. That robot is okay. He's moving and he's fine. Everybody's fine. But oh my god, that was brutal. He, where does, where's his sword? What happened to his sword? The other guy was still holding his sword and this guy was just punching him. I don't think it's a good sign for your event that's supposed to be about like fighting with medieval weapons where... The guy who wins is like, fuck these medieval weapons, dude. Let's go. I'm just gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna kick you and punch you. It does kind of seem like the referee uh, waited a little bit too long to jump in there, too. And the ref he, he walks over with the look of like, oh shit, you guys are still fighting? I forgot. I was totally spaced out. I was looking behind me. This place is beautiful. Stop hitting him. That's dangerous. All right, next we have an article. Welcome to the strange and barbaric world of medieval MMA. Crazy stuff. No, this isn't something from a movie. This is as real as it looks. Yeah, I would say it's definitely not a movie because this is not what sword fighting looks like in any movie I've ever seen. In movies, they're like, ting, ting, connecting sword, sword, hitting sword with sword. In this it's like one guy flailing on the ground with a sword and the other guy like stomping his chest cavity in. The sword seemed like an afterthought. This is the crazy world of medieval MMA where the modern world of fighting meets the dark ages. Yeah, I can't exactly say that sounds like a huge selling point to me. I think the dark ages are generally thought of as some pretty dark ages, so... Not, not exactly sure I want to go back there. The gimmick was originally used as a filler between fights during events at M1, Russia's biggest MMA organization. Oh, so it was like a halftime show at an, a regular MMA fight? However, such was the interest from the fans after the first bout, M1 president Vadim Finkelstein decided to make it a full-time event and created the medieval division. It's crazy that it used to be a filler between regular MMA fights. Like, imagine if they started doing that with other sports. Like, the NFL's halftime show is like, jousting in between innings at baseball games they have one man fighting a lion okay now we have a tiktok it says the actions in this videos are performed by professionals or supervised by professionals i'm gonna disagree i'm gonna say these two aren't actual real knights nor are there real knights supervising oh my god Okay, he didn't even hit him with the axe. I feel like the guy who wins is always just fighting like a regular guy. He just threw him on the ground. He used the axe to help, but like, he didn't use the axe, you know? I feel like the only way to win this event is to convince the other guy he needs to be swinging his axe, and then you can get in there and just rough him up old-fashioned style. Or I guess not old-fashioned style. Modern day style. God, wait, where are they fighting? Is this like a CrossFit gym? There's like exercise, like medicine balls in the background. Yeah, there's a pull-up bar back there. Is this what CrossFit is? I wonder what the ratio of, of people who do these fights and, and do a second one is. I feel like it's zero. I feel like if I was in one of these fights, even if I won, it would be like the scariest thing ever and I would never do it again. It looks so painful. You're trapped inside of this armor. It makes it really hard to move. So you can't escape even if you wanted to. And sure you have protective armor, but you're also getting wailed on with like a 30 pound ax. It definitely still hurts. I'm wondering if this is like the minor leagues or something. Cause the, the really big event was in this beautiful location and this is just in some kind of barn slash gym. I feel like there's definitely a big like gap in the professionalism of this event, but they still are decked out in some really sick armor. I wonder how, how much it costs to get started in this. You can't exactly start without the necessary equipment because you would die. Uh, you can't spar with someone and just be like, it's all right, we'll use the axes still, just no armor because we can't afford that yet. I feel like it's got, like, this has to cost thousands of dollars. This is a rich man sport to be sure. Okay, now we've got knight versus samurai. An unexpected ending. The beginning is unexpected. I thought it was just knights. We're introducing different kinds of fighters into this now. The next one's like knight versus navy seal and he just has a gun. Yeah, they actually let you bring any weapon into this. It's totally fair. So I just sort of sniped him from the other side of the ring and i won obviously all right well let's see what the unexpected ending is if it's just one of them beating the other one with their bare hands i'll i hate to say it but it won't be unexpected 
Oh, this one's kind of sad. There's like nobody in the audience. They got all dressed up. They put on their thousand dollar costume. They trained for this. The loser will live with a lifetime of regret. And let's face it, recovery probably. And there's like seven people there watching. Oh, his sword broke. That's the end. Okay, so in this one, when his sword breaks, it's the end. But in the other one, when the guy drops his sword on purpose so we can start punching the other guy, that's allowed. I guess this time they were like, whoa, 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 he lost his sword. We have to stop. This is too dangerous now. Dangerous for the other guy, I mean. The sword was a hindrance. It was holding him back. He's going to kill the other guy now. Now we have a group war? This just goes to show how far we've come as a society, man. As we've grown out of certain things as a species, like, you know, having to hunt, we end up going to the gym so we can still get exercise because it's good for our bodies. We still have to go to battle with neighboring tribes. We just do it at like a renaissance fair with referees. <laughs> What is this, man? There's no strategy here. I hate to say it, I don't even know if there's skill. It's like, what do you... You don't who are you even fighting against? Everyone's wearing the same thing. Are, are there teams? You're also wearing a helmet where you can see like this much. You don't even know who you're fighting or if you're fighting anyone. You could be on the ground and think there's people all around you and there's not. I really shudder to think about the long-term consequences of being in this sport for any amount of time really, like more than one fight. And I can't imagine there's a lot of money in it, you know? Like football has been proven to cause like head injuries and pretty serious lifelong damage in many instances. I'm gonna say this is worse. I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that this is worse and you don't even get to be rich as a result. With that being said, it is kind of interesting to watch, you know? If this became the next big sport, would I watch? Maybe a little bit. Or maybe not. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye-bye.